Welcome to iLecture Online, and here is the fourth set of examples of how we deal with exponents in algebra. Uh, here they are, and so let's see what we need to do them. Well, this set here has exponents raised to an exponent, and the rule is that we multiply exponents. So in the first case right here, we're going to multiply the 2 and the 4, then we're going to multiply the 3 and the 4. So let's do that. So this is equal to x to the 2 times 4 power times y to the 3 times 4 power. And then, of course, we multiply, we get x to the 8 times y to the 12th. All right, that's how you do that. Next example, notice we have a negative exponent here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to write this as a squared b to the fourth divided by, because when I apply the negative sign, I can write that as a positive exponent and bring it to the denominator. So this becomes then a b squared. Oop, I'm forgetting my, uh, of course, to the q power here, but bringing this down, this becomes to the positive one power. Okay, next we then multiply this exponent with uh, these exponents with this number right there. So this is equal to a to the 2 times 3, b to the 4 times 3, divided by a to the 1 times 1, because this is like a to the first power, multiply times 1, times b to the 2 times 1. And so this becomes a to the 6th, b to the 12th, divided by a b to the second power. Now, we're not done yet because now we have an a in the numerator and a denominator. The rule is, is the bases are the same, you subtract exponents, so this becomes a to the 6 minus 1 and b to the 12th minus 2, so this becomes a to the 5th and b to the 10th. Okay, moving on to the next one. Here we have a negative exponent inside the parentheses and then a raised to a negative exponent. So what we can do here is uh, look on the inside, we can rewrite this as 1 over x to the second power. So by moving it to the denominator, I change the exponent to a positive number, raised to the minus 3 power. And then again, I can then get rid of this by taking the inverse of that. So this is equal to 1 over x squared. Oop, I was going to take the inverse, wasn't I? So this is equal to x squared to the positive 3 power. So notice that each time I, I change a sign in the exponent, it actually flips over the number or brings the number to the denominator, brings it back to the numerator. So when I apply this negative sign over here, this brings the x squared in the denominator back to the numerator. And I can write this as x to the second power times 3 or x to the sixth power. Now, I didn't have to do that. I just did that for illustration. What I could have done is I could have gone straight to this point and just simply apply the rule. When I have an exponent raised to an exponent, I simply multiply the exponents. And so I could have written this is equal to x to the minus 2 times minus 3 power. And then again, you get x to the 6 power exactly the same. So I just did that for illustration to see how you can get rid of negative signs as well as simply following the rule, the rule blindly. Not a problem. So applying that over here, what do we get? Let's work from the inside to the outside. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply this exponent to this exponent. So this gives me x to the minus 1 times negative 2. And the whole thing still raised to the negative 3 power like that. Then what I can do here is multiply this out. So I get x to the second power. The whole thing raised to the minus 3 power. And then I can go ahead and multiply those together. So this is equal to x to the second power times negative 3 power, which is equal to x to the minus 6 power, which is equal to, and now I apply the rule where I bring the x to the denominator to make it into a positive exponent. This is 1 over x to the 6 power, and that's the final answer on that one. So his, this is how you deal with exponents and when exponents are raised to exponents.